What's good everyone, Jets take off. Trade deadline is over and Elijah Moore is still a New York Jet, so we have no plans to get rid of him. Now it's time to look at how we can incorporate him more into the offense, because he's frustrated in this Jets offense has been struggling lately. So what do we need to do to get Elijah Moore involved and hopefully help this passing offense? I think the main reason why he hasn't seen the production is because he is not the primary read or the plays that are being called are not designed to get him on in one-on-one -on -one man coverage or in the soft spot of zone coverage. I feel like he is used as more of a gadget and decoy to then create uh, an opening for another receiver like a Garrett Wilson or a Corey Davis. I feel like we have to maybe invert that a little bit more and make Elijah Moore the primary target on the, or the first read on a play. Uh, it's, it shouldn't be too difficult whether it's putting him in the slot, whether it's lining him up more outside but calling plays, flipping them so that he is the one that actually gets the first look from the quarterback, whether it's Zach Wilson or Mike White, if anything were to happen. And I think we need to run him on some more routes rather than just fades and go route because earlier on in the season, Mike LaFleur was calling a ton of those for Elijah Moore. I think it was more than 50%, which is an absurd amount. While he does have that speed to get past the top of a defense, he's also a very good route runner and he should definitely be used more in the intermediate to short range of the football field. We just need to call some more traditional plays and routes for Elijah Moore and I think we need to make him one of the primary reads. I'm all for getting Garrett Wilson the ball a lot. And same with Corey Davis, I think both of them are very good receivers. But I think Elijah Moore also has a lot of talent that really should be used. And we can also use Elijah Moore on screen plays. I feel like this is something we need to do a little bit more. Elijah Moore is a more nimble and shifty receiver, and it makes no sense why we're not really targeting him in the screen game. I mean, I understand using Barrios. I love Barrios. He's very good at that. How about Elijah Moore too, though? He's, he's more undersized. He probably has more quickness than Barrios too, so I think... I think running screenplays with Elijah Moore is a quick and simple way to get him involved in the offense, and it shouldn't be too hard at all. And then, we, and then you could let the bigger receivers like Corey Davis and Garrett Wilson go block ahead for him with the tight ends and the offensive line. Another way we could get Elijah Moore involved is in the backfield. He did this at Ole Miss where he lined up in the backfield. He can take some carries, and if not, we can use him as a distraction because if we do, we line him up kind of as that running back, but we go with a play action or just out of the shotgun formation, if it's man coverage, he will be in a great mismatch with a linebacker most likely. And that is a, that if you're a quarterback, if you see man coverage with a linebacker on a wide receiver, that is pretty much where you're going to go with the football. It's an extreme disadvantage. So Mike LaFleur should shift Elijah Moore a little bit. Think about, think about lining him up in different spots of the field. And if we know it's man coverage or we can find it, tell that it is, I think then is a great opportunity to take advantage of that. I really think it is because he's done it before, so teams will think that he, he may be carrying the football for a run, but if he's not, he can definitely blaze past a linebacker or safety in man on man, man on man coverage. That's just simply a disadvantage in football. That's just the way it is. So those are some ways we can get Elijah Moore involved in this Jets offense from here on out because it needs to happen. He has too much talent to not be utilized. I understand making a statement, giving him less snaps last game, but against the Buffalo Bills, we need to be giving him an adequate amount of snaps and we do need to be involving him more rather than just using him as more of a second thought or using him as a tool to set up where, where we want the play to actually go to. Elijah Moore is very good at creating separation and it needs to be utilized more. So let me know what you think about this Jets fans. Elijah Moore still a Jet. Do you agree? Do you disagree? How else can we involve him in the offense? Love to hear all on anything and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.